FreeMMOStation.com. Hello, everybody. My name is Sewell Nemezhnev with Free MMO Station, and welcome to Star Conflict. This game is a spaceship shooter thing in which you fly a spaceship and blow up other people. All right, so let me go over how the controls work just super quick. All right, so you have your spaceship, and this is the, you know, moving your mouse moves the aimy thing. And when you move the aimy thing, not you know, look at how your guns follow it and the thrusters on the ship all like they all activate in accordance to where you're moving the ship. I love attention to detail like that in games. It just looks so attractive and it looks like a lot of work went into it. And for a furry game, that's pretty friggin' sweet. What I'm doing right now is a sector, uh, what was it called? Like, attacked sectors quest thing. Where basically, rather than, you know, doing PvP or whatever, you're just flying around, you're just flying around space. You're flying around, you know, the little space stations and doing fetch quests. All of these so far have been fetch quests, but not only can you, uh, you know, do the fetch quests and whatever, you can also uh, fly around and look for stuff like uh, ship parts, which, uh, I'm, which I was trying to look for on the way over here, but I'll find one when I get back. Uh, yeah, I'll find one when I get over to the mining site. Uh, w and S control your throttle and reverse functions. A and D move you left and right. Uh, space moves you up and Alt moves you down. Wee! Shift gives you a little boost, but you only have a certain amount of boost, which is indicated right here. And you also have a certain amount of energy, which uh, has to recharge right here. Whoa. You try, trying to use the mouse to show you where things are may result in me crashing. Alright, generator is now active. I can fly back if I wanted to, but first I'm going to try and find uh, some, some, some ship parts to salvage. Because my god, it's fun to just find stuff. When you find a, uh, you know, a ship to salvage, you can get either, uh, you know, uh, you can get in-game money, you can get trophies, and you can get, like, broken parts to sell for even more in-game money. You know, like, just, oh, I think that's one over there. I think I see it. Is it? 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 Yeah, ship debris, that's what it's called. I've been trying, I was trying to think of the word the entire time. And let's see what we get. We got 8,400 gold, uh, not gold. I was about to say gold. And from this, we're going to get... Ooh, nice! 35,000. Alright, unfortunately, if you get killed, like, there are, like, uh, randomly spawning, uh, AI enemies that will just try and kill you. So, don't get killed by those, because you will lose all the stuff that you get. Like, you won't keep it. Which is a shame. Because, when I was, when I was doing this earlier, I got a lot of good stuff, and I died, and I lost all of it. So, just be careful when you're doing this, you know. Because, you know, this game is designed so that you have to... You, you really need to work with other people. And if you try to fight three ships all by yourself, you're not going to do very good. You're not going to succeed, I guarantee. So, oh yeah, you also don't want to run out of fuel because that's also bad. I think that ship debris down there, I think I can see it. But I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to go get it because uh, going down there was where I got killed last time. And I just don't want to deal with that. All right, so now that I've shown you, uh, you know, how the game works in a, in a bit of a more relaxed tone, I'm going to show you how the game works in actual PvP. So let's get into it. Preparing to dock. Ow. We're gonna do scrimmage, scrimmage, skirmish, as it's pronounced. Uh, for skirmish, you can either do, you know, your typical deathmatch where you just have to kill everybody. A domination battle mode where you have to take over the, you know, the, uh, ah, what are they called? The beacons. You know, you have to, you know, take control of certain beacons for long enough so that the other team's numbers go down. And then your numbers just don't go down. And then whoever's number goes down the first loses. Uh, and then there is... Uh, 
bacon hunt. It, it's called beacon hunt, but I call it bacon hunt, where you have to take control of certain beacons or bacons. One bacon will appear on the map, and then your team has to go take it over. And then another beacon somewhere else will activate, and then that other beacon that activated first will turn off. So it's kind of like King of the Hill if the hill was constantly moving around. It, that's, that's the best way I can describe it at least. And then there is Combat Recon, which I have not played yet. You need to level up a good deal to unlock all of the things in this game, and it does take a while to get all of the money that you need to unlock everything. Uh, this game was made by a, a studio called Gaijin Entertainment, which some of you might recognize as the company that made War Thunder, a tank-based shooter. And uh, one thing that Gaijin Entertainment is really known for is their attention to detail. They really put a lot of work into the environments, the lighting, the textures, uh, how the ships work how the tanks work, you know, they, they really put a lot of effort into the attention to detail and it's it's very admirable and I really like it. It makes the game look really nice to look at and just, just really fun. I've honestly gotten killed because I was too busy looking at the little thrusters on the ship. It's, it's kind of embarrassing, but I don't care. The controls are very easy to understand and get used to. Uh, there are like maneuvers and tactics that you can use, but I haven't really learned a lot of them yet. However, what I can do is teach you what I have learned so far. So here we go. Star Conflict Tips with Suel Namajnab. Tip 1. Stay with the group. Never fly solo. We can't all be like Paul Simon and be the most successful by ourselves. You need your team, because the other team will see you as the weak one, and they'll all kill you at the same time. Tip number two. Ramming into other ships does not do damage. This isn't Guns of Icarus. What the fuck? Tip number three. Don't hit stuff in general because it turns your monitor into a CRT. Tip number four. Don't waste your missiles. You only have a certain number of them per match, and if they're a special kind of missile, you have to repurchase them. Remember what mom always says, if you waste your missiles, get out of my house and get a real job. You're my least favorite child. Alright, so I'm going to do my best to show you guys every, sing every ship that I own. The Zealot will not be one of them, because I don't have enough slots to show it to you guys. But basically all the Zealot is, is it's a very slow moving support ship that is meant to like deactivate missiles, and uh, as well as um, heal and repair your ally ships. Alright, so we're gonna stay with the group. We're gonna stick with this guy and this guy. They have specific ship names, but I don't know them because I don't recognize their symbols. That guy is a dagger. I recognize his symbol because I have one. What I have is a machete, which is meant to uh, turn invisible and uh, mess up, really mess up the enemy, uh, the enemy ships. Oh god, there are snipers. Yeah, when you see uh, little red lasers, you really want to avoid those because those are from sniper ships from far away, and they they'll mess you up. They'll 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 make you not have a good time. There's bot Sarah. If you press R, you'll lock onto them, and then you just kind of shoot at them. Oh, that was really bad. God dang it, we need to fix that. Alright, I'm gonna turn invisible with my special move. Alright, so now I'm gonna... So, to use... Alright. Alright, I've also slowed him down. Dang it! I, I was doing that all by myself, and he's an axe, so naturally he'll be stronger than me. All right, the dagger is a much smaller ship that moves a lot faster. Obviously, look at look at how fast I'm going! Oh my god! Uh, the dagger is meant to fly into the enemy and uh, just just disrupt their stuff, like make them unable to move disable their shields, disable everything that they can do. You can disable all of their modules so that they can't do anything. It's pretty neat. I have I have yet to actually successfully do it though because 
I'm kind of bad at it. Alright, I disabled something on him. Alright, so this move, basically, I am invincible. And while this guy's still close to me, I believe I deactivated his stuff. So he is now open for several, several attacks. And he's not going to have a good time. He activated a shield, but it's not going to do him much good because I have some. I have a guard drone helping me out, and he is gone. We officially protected this beacon. There is another module that I should have, but for some reason the module I chose to put in there just fixes my shields. Not the best, uh, not the best choice. Uh-oh. Not good, not good, not good. Oh god, I ran into something. <laughs> oh no, this is bad. This is very bad. Where's my team? I should be with my team. I'm the straggler. They're gonna see me as the weak one, and we won. We just won. <laughs> Alright, so when you win a match, you are able to just kind of scan around and look for stuff. You know, you, you mostly get broken stuff that you sell for money. But sometimes you get something cool, which I didn't get this time around. Like, you get like a... You get a certain module or some some missiles that you can use in the next match. It's pretty rad. <gasps> yes! Combat Recon! This one I haven't done before, and I also have a contract that makes me uh, have to... You know, that wants me to do it. So, hell yeah, let's do it. Alright, so, when, while the captain is alive, the number of deploy... Wait, the number of deployments is unlimited. Oh, okay. So, we ha so Combat Recon is... Uh, you play as a captain. Wait, objective. Destroy the ship providing enemy reinforcements, then eliminate all other ships. Oh, okay. So, we need to destroy their captain and then kill every as many people as possible. Nice! Alright, so where is their captain? Hello! <laughs> that was cute. Damn it! So much for sticking with the group, I guess. <laughs> I'm invisible. You don't know where I am! Damn it, they know where I am now! Yeah, we got him. We got bot Hannah. You eat a dick. Whoop, oh, hit something. That fucked me up. Oh, man, that really made things difficult. Hit hitting stuff. Damn it! Everyone on my team is dead again! And there's... As far as I'm concerned, there there isn't many maneuvers that makes it easy to, you know, avoid missiles. I've noticed that if you just kind of go up and down, it makes it hard for them to aim at you. You know, you, you don't want to be turning around too much because it makes your, uh, makes your spot really, like, stable. So, you know, makes it difficult for them to really aim at you. How many people do I have going for me right now? I don't even know. I'm invisible, so I don't care. But I played Combat Recon, and I just got ton of money. Oh cool, now I get something else. Kill three enemy fighters in any PvP mode. I could do that. I could totally do that. Also, I can level up this. When you use your ships enough, you get synergy points, and you can use those synergy points to level up your ships and get more hull resistance and blah 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 blah. You know, it's fun times. This game is fun times. You know, it, it, it can get frustrating if you don't know what to do, but as long as you stick with your team, um, you know, and know how to use your ships, you know, and you know know how to use your loadouts and work together it's a good fun game uh, you really do need to work with other people talk to them team speak would be most helpful for this game believe me because you know communicating with your teammates will make it more likely that they'll have your back and uh, without you know pl just playing with random people it's kinda hard to talk to them because people just tend to kinda go off on their own little directions and it can get a little annoying at times so that was Star Conflict go check it out at freemomostation.com uh, if you like this video like and favorite if you enjoyed comment letting us know what you think of the game and subscribe if you'd like to see more my name is Sewell Imagine with Freemomostation and I'll see you next time